Hello and welcome back to Dukescopy TV, I'm Ben Jones. Economies in Southeast Asia such as Indonesia, Thailand and the Philippines are experiencing a substantial increase in foreign investment. Joining me on the line to discuss why this is, is Jeff Ung from Standard Chartered. So Jeff, I would like to begin by talking about this foreign direct investment to many of the Southeast Asian countries. Obviously last year there was a pullback from these markets because of the tapering discussion, but now things are really picking up again. Why is this? I think we are generally more optimistic on Southeast Asian economies compared to the other emerging markets. I think we see several uh, attractive factors in Southeast Asia. So one, uh, generally good infrastructure as well as ease of doing business. I think as evidenced by, by the doing business report, uh, where Singapore, Malaysia, as well as the Thailand, I think rank quite highly in. I think number two, there's a strong growth as, 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 as well as the rising middle class in Asia. I think this year is likely to be a stronger uh, year uh, in, in, in terms of having stronger growth, supported by uh, better external demand. In the case of the Philippines, I think we're expecting the ex uh, our performance to continue and GDP growth to hit uh, 6.7%. I think that's uh, second only to China in, the, in terms of the growth forecast this year. Uh, three, I think overall uh, in Southeast Asia, we see a stable monetary as well as fiscal environment. Uh, we have Southeast Asian economies uh, that's committed to stable monetary policies as well as fiscal consolidation. I think overall these sectors uh, do show that uh, the, uh, the attractiveness of these uh, economies. What I would like to know is, is this sustainable? Are these countries just recovering from the pullback or is foreign investment going to continue to grow, especially with some countries such as Thailand now having a much more stable political situation? Yeah, this year I think we're pretty positive in terms of having a um, um, stronger FDI inflows into uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, th this year, I think we're expecting uh, the, the, the uh, demand from US and uh, Europe to pick up as uh, the GDP growth uh, rebounds in these regions. And I think uh, the FDI inflows are likely to pick up as uh, companies look for attractive uh, places to invest in. And uh, this this uh, economy is actually not really that unique to many investors. I think many have been around in this uh, area for decades and know the market pretty well. So in terms of like Thailand, I think given its uh, location in the world's uh, fastest growing region, it's actually well positioned to position. Uh, uh, it's well placed to position, uh, position itself as the gateway uh, to Cambodia, Laos, uh, Myanmar, and Vietnam, and also to act as a production hub for the whole ASEAN region. Uh, to achieve this, however, I think Thailand will need to play a critical role in the development of the Mekong region and to continue to build infrastructure to enhance uh, this ASEAN logistics connectivity. And finally, the Fed's recent announcement that they will most probably be hiking rates at the start of next year sent many of the Southeast Asian currencies down. In the longer term, how do you see the Fed's interest rate decisions affecting Southeast Asian markets and currencies? Near term wise, I think we're expecting uh, the Fed interest rate uh, uh, policies uh, stu to still continue to place uh, downside pressures on uh, Southeast Asian currencies. I think for now, in terms of our US outlook, uh, we expect the Fed to continue to taper and only hike uh, the, the Fed fund target rate in Q2 next year. I think uh, Yellen has uh, really set expectations on the timeline uh, during the FOMC meeting last week. Uh, I think uh, even so, I think uh, uh, the, the downside pressures in the near term, I think we still see some, some support in, uh, for the Southeast Asian currencies, uh, particularly those with uh, current account surpluses like uh, Singapore as well as the Philippines. Uh, as the, the, the US decisions uh, uh, get priced in eventually, I think we could see some strength uh, in the, the Southeast Asian currencies actually returning, uh, although it's, uh, it's likely to be at a more gradual pace compared to before. Thanks for joining me today, Jeff. That's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. Stay tuned as later in the day, Dira McDermott will be bringing you an interview looking at that all-important UK inflation data. But for now, goodbye.